pitched in all non-conference games a year ago. Just as game one began, Smiley bounces out to second base. Devin Flaherty handles the ground out for the game's first out. And that's huge right there for Matty Box, Devin Flaherty. Games this year, and really is the spark plug in the lineup for the Hornets. Strike three, swinging. Would be ideal to retire the side in order. Got a chance here. And Scott on the ground, in and out of the glove of Flaherty. She will reach. Very tough play on the in-between hop for the second baseman. Well, Scott, who left too early and was called out in game one. She takes off, but it's strike three, swinging. Maddie Bulk, her first appearance in the circle in two months, trying to win a seventh straight before hitting the road. Waits back on this one, slow roller to short, and Scott, by an eyelash, throws out Harp at first base. Now hit safely in five straight. There's the one, two. On a bounce, and pass Gardner. One out single for Amaya Ross. Just takes one swing with his freshman. Beecham, left center field, goodbye. She parks another one out. Tenth home run for the Frosh from Tallahassee. They had a two nothing start for the Knowles in the bottom of the first. Well, one swing. It's all it takes for Jason E. Beecham. I mean, she just makes this look so easy, too. Right in the middle of the zone, though. Richie is on that one back, and Beecham is going to make you pay if you leave it there. Straight to dead center. 19 career hits in a Seminole uniform. And works her second walk of the day. Spectacular season. Rolls it to second. Gardner with the flip to Scott for one, and that's all they'll get. Kerr reaches on a fielder's choice. Over her past couple of games, and haven't seen her pitch yet today, but she also can get it done on this side as well. Up the middle, fielded by Scott. Nice glove flip to Gardner. And sophomore from Laverne in Tennessee. That Ofer snapped the five-game hitting streak. Rolls this one to Flaherty. And a wide throw. Ramsey reaches. Now she's hitting doubles and triples, just learning to contribute to her team in different ways. In the foul territory, Kerr makes the catch. Read that one really well off the bat. And circled around to get it for the... Two and two on the freshman catcher. Bouncer to short, Potter gets the out at first as Ramsey takes third base. Two outs. Here from Enterprise in Alabama. Another chance for Flaherty. On target this time. And Ramsey left at third base. Off the end of the bat, right back to Richie's for the first out. Close miss. Flaherty coaxes a one-out walk. Only seven at-bats, but 15 runs scored. And as she drops down a bunt, Kostler airmails it. Flaherty will be stopped at third. Now she's coming home, and she scores. Oh, the slightest of bobbles from Jada Gardner on the relay. And Flaherty was ready to Go zero to 60 pretty quickly. Randy Potter just utilizing the short game right there. Right down in front of the plate, uses the speed. I think even if that throw's on target, Potter is making it into first base, no doubt. But the throw is airmailed and allows her to move to second. He's back in the first. Into center field, Smiley reaches up to make the catch. As Potter tags and takes third. 
Through that curve on the outer half of the zone. Off the end of the bat, into shallow right center, and Gardner backpedals to catch it. Another in the run column for the Seminoles. This is Jasmine Rogers sending a fly ball to left field, handled by Danley for the first out. Well, just to kind of continue off of Alex's. He takes all that, all that to heart, but it goes back to even how they were playing this year, right? Not much of a home run team, but still they've changed up their style and he's doing whatever he can to do. Jada Gardner with two outs, a strikeout victim against the starter, Matty Balk, back in the first. And Beecham handles the bounce, quick toss across. One, two, three inning. The hit here. Upstairs, five pitch walk opens the seminal half of the third. In the corner, it's gotten her into trouble. It's popped up towards the middle of the infield, and Elena Scott has the first out. It's in Georgia, all ACC first teamer last season. Kerr sends it out to shallow left center, and Scott drifts back to make another play. Off the glove of Richie's, and Scott has handled just about everything. Glove flip for the fielder's choice to end the inning. Just a sophomore with a lot of upside. Back to the circle, one away. So Emma Wilson has weekend series this past weekend and now just wants to see it more and more from game to game. Richardson on a bounce to Beecham. Two down. 0-2 pitch hit in the air to left center field. Long run for Hart. And she gets there for the third out. Another perfect frame for Emma Wilson. One ball, one strike. Katie Dack hits it hard. That's not where you want to hit it. Elena Scott seems to stop everything. In the air to left center field, Smiley runs it down. Well, a lot of speed out there for Bama State. Smiley got the starting nod in left field in game one, but we've seen her field too. So rangy out there, you mentioned the speed. Andy Potter puts it down in front of Smiley. First hit of the season for Potter. They reached on an error her first time. And it'll flip things back to the top of the order, Kennedy Harp. With a first pitch swing into right field, Denby on the line makes the catch. Swing and a miss. First strikeout for Emma Wilson. He Kostler. Bouncer up the middle. First hit for Alabama State. Eighth hit this season for the first. Still up 3 nothing here in the fifth. Off the end of the bat, couple steps back, Potter puts it away. Conference player of the year, Kendall DeRamis, who's in a doctorate program at Alabama State. Focusing on the academics today. Up against the screen. Terrific catch made by Dak. Negative scoreless frames. Four pitch walk to Amaya Ross. Beecham bounces it to third. Williams stops it, air mails it into right center field. Ross can fly and she scores. Well, the only play there was to first base. And Gardner, the second baseman, didn't cover the bag because there really wasn't a play there. In the air to shallow right center. Smiley covers more ground and has the first out. Hit hard to Gardner. 
in and out of her glove. And another error will allow Kerr to reach second of the inning. Look at it too today, Chris. You've almost seen, besides pitchers, the entire Florida State roster. Gardner flips it to Scott. And the relay not in time. Another run comes across. Beecham touches home to make it 5 0 Knowles in the fifth. Facing Katie Deck, the catcher off of her glove to Elena Scott. And in time. At Emma Wilson still in the circle. And first pitch to Kendall Smiley, rolled to second. And Flaherty with the underhand flip for the first out. 100 in the batting average department, 17 stolen bases in 19 attempts. Another first pitch swing, bouncer to Potter, and she throws out Gardner. An efficient start to the sixth for Wilson. Two pitches, two outs. And it's kind of similar to game one. Here's the 2-2. Slow bouncer, and that's an infield hit. A swinging bunt. And Scott reaches on the second hit tonight for the Hornets. Base runner for the cleanup hitter, Leah Richardson, who goes after the first one. Beecham snaps the throw across. Three one-pitch outs. Sandwich the two-out infield single. Seminoles can win it with the three spot in the bottom of the sixth. Florida State history on Friday night. Bouncer towards the right side. Gardner diving stop, but couldn't get rid of it, and Devin Flaherty opens the sixth with the single. It was in the sixth inning of game one where Florida State struck for four as Flaherty runs and steals the base, kicks the ball into the outfield. She'll get the green light. The throw from Rogers, not in time. That's a Little League first to home on a stolen base. And now they're just to Alabama State, but for this seminal program too, Flaherty, her 12th steal, and nothing. Full count pitch, Pine knocks it down, and throws out Potter. College softball means Todd Bradley's got to be happy with those innings that he saw. Williams has it. Low throw. Out of the glove of Richardson. The fifth Alabama State error tonight. To the backstop. Slipped out of Pye's right hand. Trying Miles. to, oh yeah. Just hanging out watching softball. This ball four to Bueno. To her yelling to her catcher, Brooke Ramsey. Trying to set something up here against Beecham. Into right field. Denby reaches up. She almost overran it. Harp tags and scores on Beecham's third RBI of the game. Base hit right field. That's a four pitch walk and the Seminoles have loaded the bases. Be a strike. Yeah, no, it's a good point. And that thing was close for sure. Way Kaser, fair ball. This game is over. Hallie Way Kaser secures the run rule victory again. So nice. She did it twice. And Florida State sweeps this doubleheader from Alabama State. They do it in six innings in both games. The Seminoles will take a seven game winning streak up to the Northeast to tangle with Boston College for three this weekend. Oh, how about that? Have a day, Halley. Back to back games, gets it done in the end for Florida State. Definitely a weird one in game two. A lot of errors, you know. You expected it to be a little higher scoring, but. Pitchers on either side were looking good in the circle, just not as clean on the defensive side of the ball as each coach would probably like, but Florida State in the end on top and just doing what we've been talking about all day. Hot bats and the pitching is starting to come alive and that's the reason for an 8-0 run rule here in game two. Florida State improves to 33-10 and 10 on the season.